Hello, my loves. Tony here from T.O. Yarn Crafts, and welcome to another Crochet Bites, just a snack-sized bit of crochet knowledge in five minutes or less. And today we're talking all about bobbles, puffs, and popcorns. Now, bobbles, puffs, and popcorns are a great way to add texture to any crochet project. Each of these stitches has a unique construction, so they look different in your projects. Today, I'm gonna break down each of these three stitches so you can decide which one is the best fit for your project. Let's get to it. First, we'll look at the puff stitch. And in this stitch pattern, I have separated my puff stitches with double crochets. Puff stitches are made on the wrong side of the work and then they poke through on the right side of the work. So this is the right side and this is what it looks like on the wrong side. I'm gonna start with a yarn over and then I'll pull up a loop in that next stitch and I'll do that three times. So that was one, yarn over, pull up a loop for two, yarn over, pull up a loop for three. I love making puff stitches with a hook like this because the handle stops these loops from going too far down the hook and it really helps keep those puff stitches consistently sized. Now I'll yarn over and pull through all of the loops on my hook and chain one to finish my puff stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch, puff stitch in the following stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop for one, here's two, and three. Next we have the bobble. Now bobbles are my absolute favorites. They make this beautiful uniform fabric and you separate them with a single crochet to really make them pop. Again, we're looking at the right side of our work and our bobble is made on the wrong side of our work. To make our bobble, we'll yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through two. And we'll do that five times. So there was one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two for two, Here's three, here's four, and here's five. We'll now yarn over and pull through all of the loops on our hook. I like to tighten down at this point to make sure my bobble is really puffy and single crochet in the following stitch. Again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, five times. There was one, here's two, here's three, Here's four and five. Yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, tighten down just slightly, push that bobble to the opposite side of the work, single crochet in the following stitch. And lastly, we'll look at the popcorn stitch. Very much like the bobble, these sit up and have a beautiful uniform structure. But the nice thing about popcorns is if you're looking for that really dramatic, highly textured stitch, this is what you're going for. So I'm going to place five double crochets in my next stitch. So here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four and five. I'm now going to lift this loop and insert my hook in the first of my five double crochets. So you can count backward, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to insert my hook towards me. So from the back towards the front of that stitch, drop that working loop back on my hook, tighten down and pull through the loop to close the popcorn. I'm now gonna place a double crochet in my next stitch. So again, five double crochets in the same stitch. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, and five. Lift the loop, drop the hook, count back one, two, three, four, five double crochet. Insert under both loops of that stitch from back to front. Put the live loop back on the hook, tighten down and pull through double crochet in the next stitch. Still curious about these stitch patterns? Find full written instructions and a photo tutorial on my blog, tlycblog.com, linked down in the description. Now, if this video has given you a better appreciation for bobbles, puffs, and popcorns, make sure you like this video and consider subscribing. And if you wanna try out these techniques, I've linked several of my favorite patterns below. And if you have a recommendation for the next Crochet Bites video, the comment section is open. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>